Well guys, next stop Tupper Lake because we're back for the motor car excursion that is waiting to cross into the station area. As I was coming through Tupper Lake along Racket Pond, I spotted um, the cars crossing the causeway and I'm like, oh shoot, I got here just in time. Uh, it's just past 11, a uh, beautiful Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get them crossing.
they come. Guys, I think we just broke the world record for the most horn shows in 3 minutes and 11 seconds. And if you're still watching, I have a couple updates from Tupper Lake for you guys. Um, I love this bridge. I, I love it. It's like three tracks wide um, and only one's in use. I still see the speeders down there. Um, it sounds like they average like 15 miles per hour, which is pretty good considering they have to stop and they get bunched up and they have problems and they have you know to stop at crossings and stuff. I feel like I just repeated myself anyway. Anyway, I just realized there's a there's a nice bell on this crossing. I I, I want it, but I, I know I can't have it because they're gonna probably use it on the new crossing. And that's one of the updates I have for you guys here in Tupper Lake is the runaround track is going to continue across this street and connect, I guess right about here, right where that box is. So that's one of the new track updates to Tupper Lake. The other is that they're gonna be rebuilding the Y and despite common belief, 
this track right here is not the Y. This is just where they store the rail bikes. This was the connection with the New York and Ottawa, I believe. So that's what this track is. Um, yeah, Tupper Lake Depot looking great as always. Can't wait to get a railroad operation going on in here. This track, I wanna say they've dropped some ballast. They dropped some stone. Um, I'm pretty sure all the ties are still like 80 years old, but you know, we'll be doing 10 miles per hour over it. No big deal.